hello everyone welcome to my channel in today's video i'll tell you how you can create this amazing infographic to represent your data in a better way so i have created this uh, video into two parts in the first part i'm going to tell you how i have created this circle and these text boxes animation and in the next part i'll tell you how i have created this animation and this animation so let's start okay so let's start let me insert a circle here okay i do not need the outline so i'm selecting no outline and let me rename it as a base circle or I'll just call it as base okay and uh, for this i need to fill some gray color so i'm opening this format shape and i'm selecting this base color now let me create a duplicate by pressing ctrl d and for this i am just saying circle one just to distinguish between these two elements for this this uh, circle one i am selecting this gradient fill since i have already used the same gradient earlier so it is taking the same one but you can select this type as radial and direction you can choose this one and the colors i am choosing the same color which i have taken for my base circle and for this second gradient stop i am selecting this black color and for position of this second gradient stop, I am selecting 70%. Okay. Now let me place this circle in such a way so that uh, the, the base circle will only appear from uh, top right corner of this or, or the top right edges of this uh, circle one actually. Something like this. Let me adjust it a little bit. I think this is fine. Okay. Now let me create another copy by pressing Ctrl D and I'm pressing Ctrl plus Shift key and I'm just reducing its size a little bit. Now let me place it inside this and I'll says I'll only uh, uh, change this direction of this gradient fill. So it will have some 3D effect like this. Okay. Now let me create one more copy of it. Let me further reduce its size. So again, the same method I'm applying. Controlling, I'm pressing Control plus Shift and uh, I'm just reducing its size. Okay, for this circle, I do not need any fill. So I'm selecting no fill. I just need one outline. So for this outline, I'm selecting the same color as our base circle and I'm increasing its width to around two points. okay so now let me insert one text box here uh, so either you can mention your heading or you can simply say numbers so now let me uh, justify it to center and let me increase its size to around 24 now i'm selecting both of them together and i'm just aligning them to the middle okay and for this text color also i am selecting uh, the same color as our base okay now uh, let me hide all these elements and i'll just select uh, these base circle and our circle one and i'm creating one more duplicate copy here okay let me unhide all for these two actually uh, you can select both of them and you can go to shape format under edit shape you can select this rounded rectangle okay and then you can increase their size now i'm reducing its width just to match the uh, diameter of this inner circle okay and i'm just making it uh, more rounded by uh, by selecting this uh, yellow point okay uh, so now this base is our base uh, rectangle and this one is our rectangle one okay so let me quickly add some text here sample text okay and let me increase its size to 24 and i'm selecting this color for them just uh, let me align them to the middle okay perfect now let me and i'm selecting all these three boxes and i'm just uh, 
bringing them here so that uh, when we apply the animation it will start from this point actually now let's right click on it and uh, click on the send to back button now let's apply the animation so i'm selecting this text box let's go to animations and under animation in this emphasis you can find this font color animation so you can just simply apply this and uh, you can select this lime color to change the color uh, let me open the animation pane uh, i want to reduce its duration to let's say around Point seven five seconds. Okay, then uh, you can select uh, this circle. You can apply this line color animation on this circle and color. You can select the same color and its duration. You can reduce it to point seven five. Okay, and uh, you can click on start with previous. So this will start with previous. Now let me uh, reduce its size to select this entire box here actually okay and you can apply the line animation on this entire selection and you can select this direction to what's right okay perfect now let me adjust uh, the distance for these line animations so i want this uh, rectangle one to travel till here okay then uh, i want uh, this uh, rectangle base to travel till here and this text box i need to travel till here okay so we are done now uh, i'll start this after previous now let's select all of them go to effect options i don't need any kind of smooth start or smooth end i want a, a bounce end of around uh, let's say 0.4 seconds okay go to timings and i want it very fast and this will uh, okay will change will not change from here this is 0.4 actually so let's do it okay now i want this text to come a little later so i'm just i'll just apply this start after this now we have to apply this color change animation on this base uh, circle so i'll go to here and i'll apply this object color animation and uh, i'll select the same color here as well and i'll click on this start after previous so it will come once all these animations uh, are over and let's select this base rectangle as well and click on this add animation and here also you can select this object color and you can choose the same color here and uh, you can select start with previous so the space and base rectangle will start simultaneously let us see how it is playing uh, let's go into the full screen and let's see how it is playing okay it is playing perfectly fine now let me quickly create uh, copies for all these three or four elements so let me uh, select this and press ctrl d uh, let me place it here okay, uh, just press ctrl d one more time and in the animation pane i want to change its color to let's say purple so let me quickly select the effect options as purple color wherever we are using this color so all at all the places we need to select this color similarly for this also we need to change the color so i'm selecting something like this here also you can choose the same color now let's insert one rectangle So you have to uh, draw one rectangle till the middle of these circles and for safe fill you can choose the same color as our background uh, we do not need any outline so I am selecting no outline now you just uh, select all these circles and right click on it and click on bring to front 
now let me change uh, this text color also to match with our uh, animated text so this was purple actually and this was this color so let me select this and let me just uh, change the numbering as one two and three okay one last thing which we need to do we need to uh, click on this and uh, select start after previous so you do not need to click one after the other so we are done with our animation let's see how it is playing okay so perfectly fine so this is it my friend from today's video i hope you have liked it please don't forget to like subscribe and share my channel